Good Sunday morning to you. I think it's lunchtime by now. And uh, soon I'm going to have my lunch for a change downstairs, which is always the case. But uh, today, just like last night, I had it downstairs. Usually I would have it in the room, especially on weekdays. But not the lunch though, only the dinner. But yesterday I had the dinner downstairs. <laughs> Big deal, right? <laughs> I was going to swim today, but it's going to rain again. Yesterday I was going to swim, I changed my mind and I did right because not long after the rain just started pouring down, the sky just became dark all of a sudden. So today, again, I'm not going to have a swim. Anyway, I did take a film yesterday while sitting in the porch. So just a snippet because as always, I still don't have the right camera nor the right iPhone for it. How are you, my dear? Long time no see, is it? No, because I keep the promise so far and that is to post three videos a week. I've missed only once since New Year because that was one of my agenda or schedule or uh, yeah, that I would like to adhere to. So I'm still in my night gown and that is the beauty or the freedom of living by myself. I can only speak for myself. Not that I wasn't free when my husband was still there, but he loved going out. He loved to be out and about. He loved going to the markets in Milan, for example, not on Sundays, but on Saturdays. But nevertheless, he, he would ask me, let's go to the lake because the moment the weather is improved like now we have already entered the springtime then not sooner he would just tell me let's go to the lake let's go and have lunch in uh, Lugano Lugano is Switzerland which is only one hour by car from Milan or let's go and have lunch in uh, Lake Como or that's also like 45 minutes by car or let's go to Lago de Garda, which means Garda Lake. That takes around two hours over. And we don't uh, stay there overnight for weekend often enough because it's a bit far, but we would just go and have dinner there because they have this beautiful restaurant by the lake. Uh, I will try to find the postcard of it and then post it here, where uh, it's the best, best fish I've ever had in my life, the way they prepared. From the antipasto, which is the appetizer, to the main course itself, which is a plain grilled fish, but it's so good. It's called, I forgot now, oh my God, I forgot now. It's in green sauce. I'm not sure if it's pesto, is it? But it's delicious. I wish I could find, maybe I'll Google it and then I, if I could find the pictures, I will insert them here. So that is Lake Garda. And Lake Como, finally enough, I'm not uh, so, uh, attracted by it. Nature-wise, it's of course magnificent, it's beautiful, but somehow I don't get that ambience in Lake Como, like in Lake Garda, for example. In Lake Como, it's much more subdued uh, as an ambience. Whereas Lake Garda, a lot of German tourists come, so that creates the atmosphere, and a lot of those little, little town, the lake, like Riva del Garda, Lim, Limone, um, 
Salo. Uh, Salo is like Garda, right? Uh, Torre del Benaco, um, Lazise, all those places, Sirmione, of course. But Sirmione, we hardly went any, anymore because too many, many, many tourists. The parking was always packed and it's impossible to go there. So luckily we went there like twice only and that was enough for me. And uh, all those little places because Pietro would just uh, circle the whole lake whenever we go there in Lake Garda, if it's still early. Otherwise we would just stay overnight in Torre del Benaco or in especially my favorite place is called Limone. It's very uh, secluded kind of uh, uh, off the rock mountain little town, but by the lake at the same time with its own little restaurants, its own selections of uh, shops and square and uh, ambience. I just loved it. I'm glad that we took Tanya also there. And then Riva del Garda. Riva del Garda is much more posh as people because they're more also Italians that have good taste and have beautiful villa. That oh, There's one villa. Oh, I wish I had uh, taken photo of that villa. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's uh, um, by itself. Oh, the setting was just marvelous. And in front of it, there car that blends with the whole color uh, scheme of the whole villa. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Anyway, at that time when I traveled, there was no Instagram, there was no Facebook. Yes, I had camera, but my husband wasn't a, 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 a photographer a fan. So, uh, or photograph fans so uh, you know I had to take them all myself and sometimes you know I'm caught in the moment of beauty or joy or just enjoying the surroundings and uh, I forgot to take the photos so I will continue later again once I've taken a shower <laughs> because I'm going already on my dreamy dreamy uh, beautiful uh, memory that were actually came through. I mean, I didn't even dream about those, but they came in my life and I'm so, so, so grateful. So this one is my, you know, spring outfit when I went to visit the lakes in Italy, when it's already like late May. The shoes is very sportive. No, it's moccasin, it's uh, loafers. They're all from Italy except for the back. And uh, yeah, this is how I would dress. By the lake, going to the lake, just going for a stroll before lunch or before dinner. Comfortable. I can see this dress is too tight for me, but luckily it's stretched, so. And it's very light, so I don't feel anything, like as if it's. Uh, you know my second skin really it's very very light so this is the combination of my accessories or my bijou bijou means custom jewelry in english it doesn't when i say custom jewelry it's not like custom to appear on stage in the opera <laughs> in england at least in great britain custom jewelry means some bubbles. Bubbles means not real jewelry. So these are what I combine my stretch white spring dress. The combination. And you're good to go in Milan. Perfect. Even better if you, of course, wrap around the cardigan that I had shown just now in the bathroom i'm sorry i just try to make do with what i can when it comes to camera or my old again 
cardigan. All these things are in Jakarta, so I, you know, I'm not going to buy new cardigan when I have a lot, plenty from Milan. So you can also do this. They like this also. It goes purple and green, lime green. It goes very well. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed another style tip on my uh, vlog this Sunday, but also a little bit of story down the memory lane. Enjoy Sunday. Ciao, ciao.